Hey guys, Tommy Drone here. What do you think of my brand new range extender? Like it? It's just a CD. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, a CD for a range extender? Can that really work? Well, first of all, there is a couple of tips. If you look here closely, I put it over the lip of the controller. I also made my own. Homemade. All you do is you take it. Look at that. Right over the lip. Stick around. I'm going to show you how to make your own range extender. And we're going to see just how good it really works. Stick around. Okay, so to make this, I'm going to go ahead and use some cardboard. You can use anything, really. Cardboard, some foil, of course. Uh, if you want to use plastic, a uh, good heavy plastic will work. Uh, for paper, though, or cardboard, anything that's more than 200 pounds, obviously, you're going to use something very thick and strong. You need some tape, your glue, scissors, maybe another pair of cutters if you want. Any kind of tape you want to use, and uh, any kind of a marker, uh, we're going to use the, you'll know, see in a second. All right. So let's go ahead and just cut. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to try to just cut and just see how it looks. And I'm going to actually just do half of this myself. I'm just going to cut right here. I'm just going to kind of just kind of eyeball it, you know. And that's what I would say. And I, by the way, I'm going to use a cardboard here on this example. But if you want to use like um, plastic or whatever, all right, I'm just going to put some glue on here. Uh, before I do that, I probably want to measure, right? So let's see here. I guess the full. Hey, that'll work. I'll put the full on. There. Now, I'll take this and I'll put this in. You know what I can do? I can actually just fold the foil over. Duh. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. All right. But let me put some glue on anyway. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And uh, I'll just put some glue in there. The tool that I like to use when 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 uh, putting the glue out. I like to use my finger. So I'm just gonna put my finger around and just kind of move it around and it'll look good. All right. That'll keep the foil on pretty good. Okay. All right, now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and take it and put it on. There we go. Okay. And just make sure it looks good, fold it up. So this is how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna take it and I'll put it right in here. All right, now I gotta put a hole right there in the center. That's yeah, close enough to the center, right there. Boom. There. There. Now my circle looks a little bit small. It looks a little bit small. Let's see if it fits. Eh, it'll work. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold these sides over. I can put some glue on too if I wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about the glue. Honestly, I just want to see if it even works. Right about there. Alright, so I got that on. And now we're going to take this. It's not perfectly centered, but it's close enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in the middle. So take it and slide it right in. And so I really want to go over this part here. There. And there you go. So now I've got my homemade signal booster there. And I guess, I guess some people say you should have it up, right? So I can do that if I wanted to. There you go. Or to the side. I'm not sure where it's going to be strong. Uh, my homemade range extender. Let's see how well this works. And there you go. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Of course, you can dress it up. Make it look a lot, a lot nicer if you want to. So if you have a CD lying around, uh, what's, what you're going to do basically is you're going to put it in just like so, and you'll notice it fits right on there very easily, very nicely. And now you have an instant range extender with your CD. But what if you want the CD to sit in there just a little bit better? Uh, let's say I want to have it go past this lip right here. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors, and I'm just going to cut it a little bit. So just cut in. Actually, if you have a pair of cutters, that might be better. Use my cutters instead. Let's cut. Alright, so as I cut, I'm lifting it.
So next I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them off. So I'm going to cough, cut them back a little bit. So it looks like I got a fair amount of range. So it looks like I got a fair amount of range with this CD here. Just putting the CD, I was able to take this thing further than I've ever flown it yet without losing the range. So I've actually had some pretty good success with this, flying it pretty far away. I actually flew really far just now. And for this drone, I've never had that kind of range until I did this. So um, give it a try. I want to get your thoughts. How well did it work for you? does it work well this is where I need your help um, go ahead and give this a try and then fly it see uh, I'm not where I live it's really heavily populated there's a lot of homes and businesses near me uh, so it's kind of difficult for me to be able to fly it at a maximum distance where I am but give it a try make your own uh, like this one if you want to or your own CD and attach it to the controller I'd love to hear what your experiences were. Did it work? How would it work? We know that this will work. We know they're effective. But how effective is it exactly, especially with just a CD? I don't know. So if you guys are willing to give it a try, give me your comments, your feedback, and please like and subscribe. I hope this helps out. I'm excited about this thought, this idea. And uh, so give it a try. I'm Tom Jordan. I'll see you all next time.